الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم friends I hope you're all doing well we are remembering Imam Ali alayhi salam do you know anything about Imam Ali alayhi salam yes he is our first Imam he is the father of Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein alayhi salam they're our second and third Imams he was married to Bibi Fatima he was super duper brave and courageous and there were times when prophet muhammad used to call him for help too because he was so brave and he helped prophet muhammad in spreading islam today i would like to share the story with you about isa the incredible who climbs mount mushkil Imam Ali alayhi salam is also known as Mushkil Kusha. Mushkil means difficulty. So let's begin. Isa the Incredible climbs Mount Mushkil by Omer Ruqayya, illustrated by Zainab Hussain. Special thanks to the author for allowing us to share this book. It was a warm and sunny day. Isa, the ant, was taking a walk with his brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, what a beautiful day, said his sister Maria. Let's go to the park. Isa was scared. He didn't want to go to the park. If he went to the park, he would have to climb Mount Mushkil. But it was just too high and Isa was just too afraid. Have you ever felt that way? When someone asks you to go somewhere, but there is something that you're really scared of and you just know it deep inside you. Nobody else knows about it. Looks like that's how Isa is feeling right now. Come on, Isa, don't worry so much, Mariam said. Isa did love to swing and Isa did love to slide. Yes, thought Isa, I will go to the park. But when he pictured that big, huge hill, his legs felt all wobbly. They finally reached the park and all the other ants started up the hill. They were laughing and having fun, but Isa stayed at the bottom all by himself. He was scared. He was lonely. He wanted to go up, but his legs just wouldn't move. As Isa stood there all alone, a group of ants from school came by. What's the matter, Isa? They teased him. Too scared to climb the hill? Um, no, Isa whispered. He looked at the ground. He shuffled his feet. I'll show them that I can be brave, Isa thought. He took a few steps up Mount Mushkil. But when he looked up and saw how high it was, his heart started racing. His thorax started aching. Butterflies fluttered in his tummy. He turned right around. What is Isa going to do? And how is he going to get up Mount Mushkil? Do you think those ants from school were being very nice to him? They weren't helping him at all. In fact, they were teasing him. That's not very nice. The mean ants let out a burst of laughter and Isa's heart sank. Tears flowed from his eyes as he ran back home. The next day, Isa woke up and decided that he would go back to the park and be brave. Inshallah, today will be the day I get to the top of Mount Mushkil, he said to himself. Soon he found himself at the bottom of the hill, trying to climb up. He tried with his eyes closed. 
He tried by thinking of his favorite things. He tried to tell himself he could do it, but nothing worked. Isa just couldn't get up that hill. Do you see some of his favorite things? I see he likes to go down the slide and play on the swing. And he seems to love soccer or football, whatever you call it. And he likes gifts and ice cream. Does his favorite things match any of your favorite things? As Isa sadly turned back towards home, a wise old aunt passed by. What's the matter, little one? He asked Isa. Isa looked down with a frown on his face and said, I want to climb Mount Mushkil and play at the park with everyone else, but I'm just too scared. The wise old aunt understood and knew how to fix his problem. He said, I will tell you the secret to climbing this mountain. Is he going to help him? The secret? There is a secret? asked Isa. Yes, the wise old aunt told Isa that when something was hard for him or made him scared, whether it was Mount Mushkil or anything else in his life, he should remember the bravery of Imam Ali alayhi salam. He explained that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the all-powerful, had chosen special people to guide us and help us. Imam Ali alayhi salam was one of them and he was stronger and braver than anyone else in the whole wide world. He fought fearlessly alongside the Prophet and when the bad guys saw Imam Ali alayhi salam coming, they would become scared and run away. They knew he was strong and did not fear anyone or anything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was so strong that once he even lifted the big giant door of Khaybar all by himself. Wow, he was super brave, I told you. But how can I be as brave as Imam Ali? Isa asked. I'm just a little ant. I will teach you a dua called Nade Ali. In this dua, we remember Imam Ali alayhi salam and ask Allah to help us. If you say this dua, you will make it up Mount Mushkil with no worries, replied the old ant. Isa was nervous, doubtful, and still scared. He had tried everything to get up the mountain before and nothing worked. He wasn't sure this would work either. What do you think? Isa and the wise old aunt met at the bottom of the hill after her prayer for the next five days. During those afternoons, Isa learned the whole dua. He also learned that Allah likes to help those who try hard. The wise old aunt even told Isa more stories about Imam Ali's strength and courage too. Finally, it was time for Isa to try again. The wise old aunt went with him. Inshallah, you will make it to the top, Isa. Remember, think of Imam Ali, recite the dua, and ask Allah for help. Isa stood at the bottom of the hill and looked up. Sweat was dripping down his forehead. All six of his legs were trembling. His antenna were quivering. He remembered what the old aunt said. Oh Allah, oh Imam, Please help me climb Mount Mushkil, cried Isa. He said, Bismillah, and then he took his first few steps. 
Isa started reciting Nadi Ali. He climbed and he climbed. Soon he realized he wasn't scared anymore. It was really working. All the other ants had gathered at the bottom of the hill. When they saw it was Isa climbing up the mountain, they were surprised and started cheering him on. You can do it, Isa! Finally, Isa reached the top. He turned around and looked down at his friends and family. I did it! I really climbed Mount Mushkil! He looked up to the sky and said, Alhamdulillah! Thank you, Allah! Thank you, Imam Ali, for helping me to be brave and strong. It worked. From that day on, Isa climbed up and down Mount Mushkil with no problem at all. And whenever he was scared of anything, he remembered the bravery of Imam Ali and recited the dua from the wise old ant. Do you know the dua, Nadi Ali? It's okay if you don't know it. I'm going to teach it to you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Nadi Ali and Malham al Ajaib. Tajidhu aun al Supporter in all calamities Soon each and every hardship And sadness will be gone By your greatness, O oh Allah By your prophethood, O oh Muhammad By your guardianship Oh Ali, oh Ali, oh Ali. I hope you enjoy this story. Until next time, Kada Hafiz.